How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I hit for the cycle with Mickey Mantle in a game of ranked seasons so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm also going to be trying out a few of these Team Affinity cards that I've unlocked. Here we have Mickey Mantle leading us off. Uh, we already have one out in the game. He's our number two batter and he's starting us off with a double. Pretty solid. I just kind of grounded out with Ken Griffey Jr. to start the game. Ken Griffey Jr. is usually the guy I hit my very first home run with. However, in this year's game, it was Chase Utley. Chase Utley hit the very first perfect no-doubter for me, and that was in uh, a game where I actually ranked the Team Affinities. In that video, I played a couple other games of ranked seasons as well. So currently, I'm 2-0. Right before I played this one, I was in the middle of a 2-0 game. I was actually losing 2-0. My opponent paused for like five minutes. I was waiting throughout the pause timer. I waited past the pause timer duration. And I was confident that I could come back and win the game. I really wanted to just play it all the way through because uh, my first two opponents quit. But then after like five minutes or so, I'm like, I'm just going to get into another game. So I made that guy forfeit his uh, game of ranked seasons. Unfortunately, would have liked to finish it off. I don't really know what he was doing, though. He must have like been doing some laundry or went to get some food. I have no idea. Uh, but we're in this game of ranked. We're up 4 nothing, And we got this Gary Sanchez up. Kind of a crazy hit from Gary Sanchez off the second base bag. Wasn't really sure if they were going to count that as a catch in the air. I know last year if it hit the pitcher, it would count. So I wasn't really sure if the base, obviously the base counts as the ground in real baseball. But you never know in the video game, there could be some bugs and glitches early on. I know they just recently did a patch, um, but they didn't really change anything gameplay wise. They just made it so you wouldn't freeze if you go into a ranked game with custom uniforms, uh, which I think is definitely something they needed to fix. Uh, but anyway, Mickey Mantle hit his triple in this inning. So in the first inning, we hit a double with him. In the second inning, we hit a triple. And sometimes in the video game, I think those are the two most difficult ones to get, right? A triple and a double uh, in back-to-back at-bats nonetheless. Triple is certainly hard to get, um, especially with the outfield animations, the sense of urgency. I've noticed it a little bit in this game already, just a few games in. And then also the throws. I've been getting gunned down in play versus CPU. I've got thrown out a couple times already in games of ranked seasons, trying to test the outfielder's arms. Uh, but anyway, we have Mickey Mantle coming up to the plate yet again in the top of the fourth. We're a couple runs away from a mercy rule. Mickey Mantle up at the plate once again after Griffey goes deep. Here we get the single out of the way. So all we're missing is a home run later on in the game. As you can tell from the title, we're definitely going to hit one. It's just a matter of how many more at-bats will it take. Uh, but here we have Martin DeHigo, and he's going the other way. This card has been really, really solid for me. I noticed he's playing a lot better uh, this year than he did for me last year. Uh, was a really solid option, and I think he's a must-have card on your team right now. Uh, first at-bat with Jackie Robinson. We moved our bunt defense in. We brought in the second baseman, and he would have been standing right in that spot. The second at-bat, though, we were up by this many runs. Didn't really think I had to go for a bunt defense, but he did try and bunt. Uh, we end up making a dive and play with Buck Leonard. What a player. To start up this next inning, we have Carlos Correa leading it off. He had a big uh, RBI single on a very early swing earlier in the game. Right, You saw that one down the third baseline. Here he goes oppo on a good pitch. This one I should have absolutely crushed with Giancarlo Stanton. This opponent had been going to that slider, low and away, low and inside to lefties. Going to that slider quite a bit on the first pitch. I was waiting for it. That was the third pitch of the at-bat. Uh, there was a few times where I was ready and other times where I was just a little bit late. Here on this fastball, I felt like I was a little bit late. We go the other way, kind of inside out it. It is good timing, but you have to also keep in mind that I'm on like veteran or all-star difficulty only at around you know, 200, 300 rating points. Um, so you have to keep that in mind, right? Like I'm going to have to make better swings in order to consistently put up this amount of runs, especially against better players. This opponent, though, was 3-1 and one on the record, on his record. So he definitely, you know, was putting up some runs. He had a couple home runs with certain guys. Um, I don't really know if he even played a full game. Those other opponents could have just quit like mine did. Um, but here we go um, back to back. We had a home run from Gary Sanchez. We had a home run from Ken Griffey Jr. And now back to back to back, here's Mickey Mantle hitting his home run for the cycle. I'll let you listen in to uh, the announcer in the background. Pretty cool that they mentioned that, right? Hits a home run for the cycle. Not really sure how loud that will be. I tried to turn some of that stuff down. Um, but this opponent hit one out himself. Kyle Manzardo goes deep. This is his second home run he's had with this card. So maybe that was his run production in the other games. I'm not really sure. But we served one up to him as well. We end up getting out of the game here. 13-1 to 1 mercy rule. And we got the cycle with Mickey Mantle. That was the best game I've had with him by far. 
obviously. Um, didn't really have too many hits with him other than this game. He went four for four in this one. And I think I was like one for five with him uh, before entering this game, right? We, we just didn't really have the best at-bats to start the year off uh, with that card. But definitely a solid player that I'm always looking to get. Any Mickey Mantle card I want on my team. We're going to finish this video with a couple of packs here. I finished off some team affinities, uh, a couple more team affinities after playing that last game of Ranked. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, Cedric Mullins out of this AL East pack. I'm not really sure. I was kind of debating between Sean Green and Cedric Mullins with my second overall selection. My first pick has to be Gary Sanchez. You already saw him go deep in that last game. Very, very good card. Uh, but I'm going with Mullins, I think. I like Sean Green's swing a little bit more. But Mullins, to me, is more of a complete player that I might get some more use out of. But until next time, I'm College Lefty, and peace out.